Hey guys, welcome back. We were talking about D3O and how the material that's used in the jackets tends to melt. You can make it into a ball. You see how reflective and nice and round that is. If you hit it with something, it gets harder. The harder you hit it, the harder you get. But it's squishy and it tends to melt. So if you put it in a shape, shape give it a few seconds. And it completely melts. So let's break this up into two pieces. See, it's all gooey. It's like a booger. Let's break that up into two pieces. We're going to leave one over here into a funny shape and see what happens to it. Actually, let's just make a little round one and see what happens to it when we play with this other one. So, great thing about this is that once it's heated up properly, and it's put into the machine. You can see this at the, at the D3O website. It can be molded in a way that's more impact resistant. Inside the jackets, you're gonna find different types of uh, shoulder pads. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of different elbow pads and they have different configurations. There's a harder one, like this one, which is smooth. It's pretty hard. And then you have the other one for more impact. It, it, it just translates the impact when you fall. Uh, along the lines of the padding, which is really, really cool. And the U.S., uh, the U UF uh, military, the U.K. military is using this now. The Air Force is uh, looking into this. There's a couple of race car teams that are using this now. You can see it in running shoes. So D3O is getting into everything, iPods. And I don't know if you can notice how glossy. It looks like it's oily, but it's not oily. It leaves no residue at all. Same thing here leaves no residue at all, which is really, really cool. So again, if you make it into any shape, it's just gonna die right there, and it's gonna start melting. And if we leave it alone for a little while, it's gonna end up all over the floor. It'll just find its way to, to become the most liquid state it can become. It's a really, really cool sample that you can play with. Um, and you can just sit at the desk and play with this stuff for hours. Don't leave it anywhere because look what happens. It gets so, when you leave it alone for such a long time, it will turn to nothing. It'll just leave a layer on your keyboard or on your desk. And uh, then you have to, like silly putty, you have to wrap it up and get it all together. But it will turn to the thinnest layer it can possibly turn into. See? So you don't want this because then it turns into that. It's a little, it's really gooey. You have to start playing with it. So it gets harder and harder. That didn't sound right. Um, but that's what the D3O does. And if you leave it alone, it'll just turn really gooey. It'll end up all over the floor. And eventually, it'll just fall. We're not talking about minutes here. You're talking about within a few seconds you can see the changes in the material as it starts to melt and expand. This happens in cold weather, hot weather. It doesn't really matter. It just that's what the that's what the D three O does at its in its normal state. Just slowly, slowly becomes nothing. If you press it, lots of fun for the whole family. There you have it, E3O.